What is up everyone? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com slash ask. That is your open forum for submitting questions for future videos such as this one. And today's question comes from Jonah Aaron over at Instagram.com slash comedy sketches 442. Jonah says, hello there David. Hello there Jonah. As you may or may not know, Apple is holding an iPhone event on September 10th, which by the way has not been confirmed, but it most likely is the 10th. Just wanted to put that out there so people don't get too excited or too disappointed or whatever. Now I've heard some rumors about an iPhone 5S with a fingerprint scanner, which will most likely happen, or an iPhone 5C without Siri or even a gold color iPhone. I think Apple has taken it a little too far. May I ask of your opinion? Jonah, of course you can. I love sharing my opinion, especially when it comes to things related to Apple. So I'm just going to touch on two things real quick. Um, iPhone 5S with fingerprint scanner, yes, most likely expect that. iPhone 5C, yes, most likely expect that. Now, without Siri, I don't think it would be without Siri. I think it would just be a very cheaply built um, plastic iPhone because I don't think they would take out Siri. I mean, Apple markets, you know, the crap out of Siri. I mean, they love Siri. They love getting that idea out, um, that, that product and that service out there in the, in the uh, public. So I don't think they would hold back on such a huge launch of a product that's been rumored for literally years now. So no, I don't think Siri will be getting the cut for the iPhone 5C. But I should say, a gold color iPhone. Now, is this possible? Okay, so let's think back first before we jump to conclusions and think Apple will never do something so gaudy or so jihado y. Yeah, maybe jihado, because I don't like phones that are a little too blinged out. That's just me. But thinking back years from now, um, in the days of the iMac G3, Steve Jobs did approve something called the Flower Power iMac. Yeah, let's not forget that, guys. And then, of course, there's the Dalmatian iMac, which I believe is rare. I've never seen one in person. But guys, Apple once came out with things such as the Flower Power iMac and a Dalmatian iMac. Now, I gotta say, those designs are pretty cool, and I love when companies try new things. Because let's face it, as amazing as devices are today, you know, such as iPads, iPhones, Android devices, Windows Phone devices, all that stuff, they can look a little dull. Unless you look at something like the Nokia Lumia 920 and up, uh, they actually went with something different, and they're coming out with these vibrant colors, such as blue and yellow, and I think they even have a pink one now. So if you ask me, it's really not that far-fetched for Apple to come out with a gold iPhone. Now, do I think it's the best choice? No, definitely not. However, do I think Apple should come out with colored iPhones in general, other than gold? Hell yeah. I mean, just imagine, okay, actually, just imagine the current gen iPod Touch, but in iPhone 5S form. How hot would that be? I mean, just to have a silver iPhone, a white iPhone, a black iPhone, a blue iPhone, pink, green, whatever. Name all those colors and just put them on the iPhone 5S form factor and I think it will look pretty sweet. Now in terms of a gold iPhone, like I said, I'm not really a big supporter of it. I can see Apple making this a reality. I mean, it's not completely ruled out. I mean, I don't think it's the best choice, but let's be honest here. I mean, a gold iPhone, it hasn't even, you know, been officially announced yet, but it's been getting press and media left and right. People are talking about the gold iPhone more than the iPhone 5C nowadays. And that's a big deal. And guys, let's not forget, people love gold. I mean, gold sells. It's kind of like a marketing thing. Like, oh, I went for the gold plan. I went for the platinum plan, you know, in terms of when you go to get a credit card or whatever. Because people love that when it comes to marketing. It's all about getting just the good terminology out there because people love the word gold or even just silver. I really hope I'm explaining myself right. But you know what? At the end of the day, it all comes down to how people perceive certain products through marketing. And I gotta say again, gold, yeah, it sells. So there you go, Jonah. My simple answer to your question, is Apple going too far? Yes and no. It kind of depends on which products you're talking about. And again, guys, do not forget to check out Jonah over at Instagram.com slash Comedy Sketches 442. I will link him right below. And speaking of shoutouts, about a week ago, I started this new thing where if you download an audiobook over at audibletrial.com slash the creative one for completely free and you personally email me over at davidfranco.com slash contact, and of course, as always, both those links are right below, then I will give you a personal shout out in future videos 
as long as you email me with your audiobook recommendation as well as any ideas or feedback you have related to that audiobook. And I got three submissions, which is good and disappointing at the same time because I have thousands of people that watch my videos, but I really wish more people would go out of the way to download these free audiobooks and get free shout outs. And that first shout out comes from Dan Sarnecki. I really hope I'm saying that right, Dan. Dan comes from twitter.com slash wildfan from WI, so I will link Dan Wright's below. And the next shout out goes to Alex Firth over at twitter.com slash the Alex Firth. Alex was actually the one nice enough to hook me up with an iOS 7 beta, uh, which is awesome and I'm still loving it. What are they all now? iOS 7 beta 5 or beta 6? I know they're getting up there. But anyway, just check out Alex right below. His website is also alexfirth.com. And now last but not least, the final shout out for this video goes out to Manohar Madaneni. I'm so sorry, I have viewers from all around the world, which is incredible, I love that. I mean, that's just amazing. But sometimes I have difficulty um, pronouncing people's names, so I apologize. But anyway, Manohar's link is over at twitter.com slash techtronicshow. So check them out right below. And that is it for the shout outs for today. The papers came right back to me, imagine that. But if you guys want a future shout out, just go to audibletrial.com slash the creative one. Again, link is right below. Click that, sign up, and search for any audiobook of your choice. Now, normally I specifically recommend one audiobook, such as a Steve Jobs audiobook or iWise or anything relating to Microsoft or technology in general. Uh, but today I'm going to give you guys a choice. So again, download your free audiobook and then email me over davidfranco.com slash contact with that audiobook's title as well as any feedback that you may want me to read for future videos, but also include a plug for yourself. So that's what I'll be concentrating on videos such as this. So this goes for your Twitter, YouTube channel, website, anything you want, just be sure to include it to get credit. This is just my way of reaching out to you guys and giving back in a way to give free audiobooks, but it's also your way of giving me your support because I am partnered through Audible, so it's win-win for everybody. All right, guys, I am done here. Thank you so much for watching. Keep these questions coming over at davidfranco.com slash ask. My timer and my T4I is just about up. So I am done. Thank you so much for your continued support. It means the world to me. It really does. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.